Welcome to AM Excellence 83, Just Stinkin' Be You. That is the message of the day. And now that we are beyond, well, hopefully beyond, this political circus that has become our country and our reality, we can start focusing on something that's important. Starting your day off right with AM Excellence. I am the Spaniard and thank you for tuning in if you've been a loyal follower. And for those of you who are just joining in, AM Excellence is about starting your day off right. When you wake, out, when you wake up, when you get out of bed, you have a choice. You can operate with a positive mindset. You can operate with a negative mindset. And how you start that day will dictate how the rest of your day plays out. Now the book we are reading right now is called Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. And what I've been touching on thus far has had to do with being the man in the arena. With, with experiencing shame, shame resilience. And we're talking about, the title of this video today is called Just Stinking Be You. When I was a teacher, I'm going to tell you guys the story of when I was a teacher. When I was a teacher, the thing that pained me most what I'm doing right now is I'm sharing it on sharing this video on my personal page because I'm trying to gain as many viewers as I can on my Spaniard page. So if you're out there in listener land, sharing this video is extremely helpful. As I transition to my Spaniard page from my personal page, trying to get more interaction and more views. So when I was a teacher, one of the things that pained me the most was when I would walk down the halls and I was teaching middle school and high school. So I would walk down the halls and I would see these kids who didn't have the self-confidence to look me or anyone in the eyes. They would walk down the hall like this, dejected, never, never making eye contact. If they did make eye contact, it would be a very faint, kind of like very unsure, very uncertain, um, you know, just like kind of bashful high. And I just wanted to grab those kids. I wanted to shake those kids and say, it is okay, just stinking be you. So the title of today's video is called Just Stinking Be You. The good, the bad, the indifferent. And today we're gonna talk about shame, guilt, shame resilience. You know, what the heck is this, this word resilience? And this idea of Whenever author Brene Brown talks about living a wholehearted life, she talks about embracing the uncertainty, embracing the risk, embracing the, the non-script of our everyday lives. And there's several awesome talking points. We're going to talk about the power of community, the power of empathy, etc. So the first thing that I want to say that I learned, it took me, I don't know, 20 years of competing and several times getting... Um, embarrassingly defeated on national television where she says this she says shame resilience shame resilience is the ability to say this hurts this is disappointing maybe even devastating but success and recognition and approval are not the values that drive me for a long long time it wasn't necessarily I was seeking approval but no I wanted to win that was my approval that was my approval of myself I trained I want to win this fight she says those are not the values that drive me. My value is courage, and I was just courageous. You can move on, shame. So my point to this, the, the moral to take from that little story is this. Whenever you do experience something bad, whatever, you fail a test, you get fired from a job, you have a fight with your spouse, you whatever it is, you lose a match. A practical strategy for me, what I always did, is I would allot a certain amount of time to feel terrible. I would say, okay, Charlie, after every fight, you have a week. You have a week to either cry like a baby, be a complete wuss, just woe is me, feel depressed, everyone stay away. But then after that week, it's over. You get back on the horse and you move forward. So as you experience these different uh, pitfalls in your life, don't try to suppress it. Don't try to, to pretend that, that the feeling of terribleness, for lack of a better word, doesn't exist. Rather, embrace it, process it, digest it, get rid of it, and move on. She goes on to talk about this idea, you know, we're talking about worthiness, you're talking, we're talking about wholeheartedness, feeling okay with who you are, living, living, you know, a, a wholehearted life, embracing that uncertainty. And she talked about this difference between guilt and shame. Now, I'm not going to lie, she gets into some of some topics in the book today that are a little bit beyond, beyond my interest, to be honest. It, but it, it, it came back in, it tied back together. And she says, there's a difference between guilt and shame. Guilt what she, she 
reinforces as being positive is guilt is I did something bad, I did something wrong. Shame is I am bad, I am wrong. What I'm taking from that, something bad happens, yes, that was a bad thing, but don't associate the outcome with you. When I lost fights for a long time, I would feel absolutely terrible about myself. Not about my performance, but about myself. So taking that mind shift and treating that, that objective, that outcome, as a thing in and of itself, not you, is extremely important. And she draws a hard line between those, between those two. This is another thing that I like. One of my favorite quotes is don't talk about it, be about it. Especially into, like I had mentioned, today's crazy political world, social media. Everyone loves to post what, 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 they, what they stand for. But nobody wants to put in the work to be what they stand for. I don't sit here behind this camera and preach and talk about hard work and values and excellence. No, because that's fake. That's not real. What I do is I do it off camera and then I talk about it. Author Brene Brown is doing that same thing. She talks about this idea of living a wholehearted life, of being all in, of embracing that uncertainty. And she makes a really neat distinction here, which I would challenge every single one of you who's out watching out there, I would challenge you to embrace this as well. She says, I don't just want to research and travel all of the time talking about being wholehearted. I want to live it. That means that I turn down about 80% of the speaking requests that I receive. I say yes when it works with my family calendar, my research commitments, and my life. So she's saying, I don't just want to be this guru who researches and talks. I don't want to just talk about it. I want to be about it. So whatever it is that you're saying you're about, I'm telling you to be about it. Live the life. Walk the walk. And then tell people about it if you choose to. Don't sit there and preach and talk and tell me a message when you're not living it, when you're not embodying it. Is it frustrating for all of us to see these people on social media? Heck yeah. Social media and this culture has taught us that we're all winners, we're all great, we're all special. Guess what? We're not all winners, we're not all great, we're not all special. We might be unique, but we've got to earn that voice. You've got to earn that right. Just like Urban Meyer said in the last book I read, Above the Line, You've got to develop trust with people. Who are you? What do you stand for? What have you done? Do you really care about me? Or are you just talking? Are you just a talking head? So I love the fact that the author really highlights that point of being about it, not just talking about it. She also mentions this. <laughs> Has anyone out there ever accidentally sent an email or sent an email to the wrong person or hit reply and step forward. It's a dangerous, slippery slope. And the biggest catch-all to that is by just not doing it, just not responding, just not saying those words that you know would get you in trouble if the other person heard you. And I'm not, again, I'm not sitting here saying I'm perfect, but think of that. She she tells a story where she she teaches this this curriculum, this idea of being wholehearted. But at the same time, she's saying, I'm not perfect because one time I got a really nasty email. I meant to forward it to my husband, also saying nasty things about this person who sent me the email, and I accidentally replied to it. And she said her heart sank. So before you react, Urban Meyer also says this idea of a productive pause. Just pause, think about what you're doing, let it ride, let it sit, and then if you want to respond, respond. Now, the title of this, the, the title of this video is called Just Stinkin' Be You. And we're talking about this idea of shame resilience. Not, not pretending that, and again, I don't, I, don't, I don't resonate with the word shame. I resonate with lack of self-confidence. So, but it's essentially kind of, it, it's, it has a very similar meaning. And we're talking about not not pushing it away, not suppressing it, not pretending it doesn't exist, rather being okay with it. Hey, I'm in inadequate in this situation and this is what I'm doing to overcome it. And she talks about this, this idea of owning your story. Own it, just stink and be you. And she talks about the power of empathy, that there's power in community. Everything, our lives, from the time we're born, humanity, Humanity is about connection. We as a people, as a, as a being, 
were created and we lived in tribes. There is this emotional connection that we feel to people. So when we start feeling this shame or this lack of self-confidence or this inadequacy, we want to protect ourselves from those people. So we push people away. And the thing I really like about this book so far is this idea of no, the opposite, embrace it. Because while embracing it, while forming human connections, this community of fighters that we're building, you're going to find, whoa, this empathy, this community is making me feel not so weird and not so bad about myself. You know, it sounds weird, but I got knocked out on television. Completely embarrassing, completely vulnerable, like the, t just terrible. But then when I talk with other guys who've gotten knocked out on television or who, who have lost embarrassingly on television, it's like there's comfort and there's unity in in, in that, that state of vulnerability. So I encourage you, reach out, connect with other people who are in your situation, and they're out there, trust me, in social media, they're out there. But the, 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 moral, you know, the moral of this video is own your story, be okay with it, connect with other people who are in those situations, and you'll find comfort, you'll find empathy, and start to feel better about yourself. There's a Sorry, I lost my train of thought. But it's talking about empathy, shame, community, and kind of getting it all out there. And <clears throat> I'll try to, I'll start to wrap it up here. She was, what also went on to talk about social media and how when she talks, she just gets lambasted for, for this and that and her weight. People are attacking her weight. Understand that it happens to everybody. And this is, again, the community, the empathy that you're not the only one. You're not the only one undergoing this. It happens to us all. She says, and this is a, a neat little thing to all those people about, out there. <clears throat> she said, I also stopped reading anonymous comments. If you're not in the arena with the rest of us, fighting and getting your butt kicked on occasion, I'm not interested in your feedback. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Be in the arena. Surround yourself with other people in the arena and get rid of that 10% that won't listen, that won't change, that will do nothing but tear you down. Thank you all for tuning into AM Excellence 83, Just Think and Be You. The way I judge a book is by the value that I take from it. The, the, the sound bite, the, the, the principle, the moral, something that sticks in my brain and then I implement into my life. So what I would ask each one of you, and I'm gonna implement this, I think on a daily basis, we'll see how it pans out here, but I wanna know your takeaway. What did you take away from today's video that's gonna stick with you at least throughout the day and possibly throughout your life? So be sure to comment below, tell me your takeaway you got from this video, and we have a choice. We can spread excellence today, or we can spread mediocrity. Let's spread excellence. Tag a friend, share the video, carpe diem, fight well.